Good morning. I'm Laura Bate with New America's Cybersecurity Initiative, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2017 Cybersecurity for a New America Conference. We're excited to get started with today's program. We have just a few housekeeping items first. In case of emergencies, attendees will be informed via a loudspeaker announcement. Listen to the loudspeaker announcement. An event manager will lead the group outside the building. If we need to evacuate, attendees will be instructed to meet at Freedom Plaza. In the case of a medical emergency, please contact our event staff. Event staff are CPR and AED certified. We will contact the appropriate parties based on the situation at hand. Also of critical importance, restrooms. Through the lobby, past the elevators. You'll see them there in the back. If you would silence your cell phones, please do feel free to keep them out, though, because we will be live tweeting the event under the hashtag NewAMCyber, N-E-W-A-M Cyber. We welcome you to join in that conversation. And now, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to New America's President and CEO, Dr. Anne-Marie Slaughter. Thank you. So welcome to our second birthday party. We're, we don't have balloons, but we do have cartoons. Uh, and we may have magic tricks. Uh, we, launched the New America Cybersecurity Initiative two years ago at this conference. So this really is our second birthday party and we have lots of family and friends and some new friends. So I'm going to just talk a little bit about what the Cybersecurity Initiative has been doing uh, and then I get the pleasure of introducing our first speaker. So the first, the overarching goal of our cybersecurity initiative is to bring to cybersecurity what New America does best, what we try to do across the range of our programs. That is a nonpartisan approach. I actually prefer to think of that as scrambling political categories. Uh, nonpartisan is sort of this bland uh, designation. Independent is perhaps more accurate, but really what we aim for is not being predictable based on politics. We come up with ideas uh, and critiques based on what we think, not what we're supposed to think. Second is to connect technology and policy. Fortunately, in cybersecurity, that is not a reach. Technology and policy are often the same thing, uh, and cybersecurity is always policy about technology in most cases. Third is a commitment to diversity in all its forms, uh, new voices across the board and across the country. Uh, that means gender, race, diversity, political diversity, geographic diversity across, across the board. Uh, and then finally, a determination to seek out really big ideas. New America is not the place that does incremental policy change, even though that is hugely important and certainly in the midst of a particular fight, like for net neutrality, we work more incrementally, but overall we want to be three to five years ahead of the curve. And finally, putting on great events. Uh, so as I said, welcome to our, our party. Let me talk a little bit about the Cybersecurity Initiative family. Uh, we've, one of the great things about this conference is that we bring our fellows together and people who normally I am connected to only virtually, I get to meet them. The day for me is often, oh, you are so-and-so, because I know you only through Twitter or only through the cybersecurity list. Um, so we have started by, uh, this initiative was born by reaching across two programs. Uh, in Open Technology, in the Open Technology Institute, um, we have obviously a civil liberties focus uh, with the tech community and Ross Schulman uh, leads that work. Um, it also then the International Security Program, ISP, uh, the work there is led by Ian Wallace. Uh, and that focuses more on capacity building at the state and local level. But one of the things that makes this conference unusual is that we bring together the civil liberties community and the national security community to talk about cybersecurity. Others uh, who are star members uh, of the Cybersecurity Initiative, there's Peter Singer sitting in the front row, uh, who uh, many of you know, uh, he runs our successful uh, cybersecurity podcast and has been writing in this field for many years now. Megan Garcia and Elizabeth Weingarten, who are normally based out on the West Coast, uh, have played a major role in setting up our human of cyber, Humans of Cybersecurity blog on medium.com. 
Alana Breitman is new. She's the new director of New America NYC. Uh, and she has been running cybersecurity events and scheming with Dan Lurie, who is the head of New America Chicago, uh, about how to work uh, in this area in those two great cities. And they're building links with the education program, uh, looking at apprenticeship models and workforce uh, uh, opportunities in cybersecurity. And then finally, we've just gotten a new uh, set of public interest technology fellowships. We had 50 applications uh, for the first round of those uh, fellowships, and some of those undoubtedly will find their way into cybersecurity as well. So with all those people, we do not always agree on everything. Sometimes we find it hard to agree on anything, but that's part uh, of what we're about. Uh, we do believe, uh, though, that the more people, the more big brains we can bring in and the more diversity, the better the product. Uh, so we also have this remarkable group of cybersecurity fellows, uh, and they come from all over the country. Uh, and we, we want to provide a platform for them. As I said, I normally communicate with them on our great cybersecurity list uh, for the fellows. Uh, and I'm constantly, if those of you who follow me on Twitter, a lot of this, the things that I tweet out on this subject come directly uh, from that list. We also have a number of partners, and I'm not going to go through them all. They're on your program. Uh, but we're delighted to collaborate with you and to have you here. Uh, and, of course, our funders, again, you have a list, but I uh, have to at least uh, say a special thank you to the Hewlett Foundation, because without Hewlett's initial grant, uh, this conference and the cybersecurity initiative would not exist. So, for today, uh, again, I'm not going to repeat your program, uh, but do mark the keynotes. Uh, we've got Marina Calderon, we have Governor Terry McAuliffe of Virginia, uh, and Representative Jim Langevin from Rhode Island. Uh, unfortunately, John McCain had to change his plans at the last minute. I can't say it's snow in Arizona, but whatever was going on in Arizona. Uh, but we are thrilled uh, to have Representative Langevin, who is one of the most cyber savvy legislators on the Hill. Um, we also have panels, in addition to panels, we have pop-ups, we have a war game and drinks. Uh, but as you go through the day, we have three principal goals that I'd like you to keep in mind. Uh, for OTI, that means uh, focusing uh, on civil liberties and the issues of the legal and technical challenges that we face as the internet grows. For the ISP team, uh, that's, again, a focus on capacity building at the state and local level. So often, at least in my world, in the national security world, cybersecurity was a Washington issue. Well, of course it's not. It's an issue for every major city across the country and increasingly for everyone across the country, no matter what the size uh, of your community. And I should say that we are launching a new C2B for cybersecurity capacity building uh, blog on the New America website, uh, looking specifically at state and local issues. So please check that out. Second, in addition to focusing on what we do, uh, we want to provide some insights into the future, uh, both the distant future, which in internet time is about a decade. <laughs> um, it's about the length of, of uh, future span that my teenagers can imagine. Uh, and Peter Singer's going to lead, lead us on a future tech panel. Uh, but also, of course, the immediate future uh, of a new administration and Congress. And finally, we want to be a little different. So if you leave this conference feeling like you've been at plenty of other conferences just like this, I want to hear about it, because that is not our aim. Uh, we want to have new conversations, or at least new spins on old issues, and new faces and voices. Uh, so I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let us know if you are. But let, let us start for a wonderful day. Thank you.